Hi, welcome to the next section of this course, Jupyter Python Scripting. Jupyter was originally IPython, an interactive version of Python to be used as a development environment. As such, most of the features of Python are available to you when developing your notebook. The section will demonstrate the following topics. Basic Python in Jupyter, Python data access in Jupyter, Python pandas in Jupyter, Python graphics in Jupyter, Python random numbers in Jupyter. Now let's move to the first video of this section, Basic Python in Jupyter. In this video, we will be using Python scripts in a Jupyter notebook. Jupyter does not interact with your scripts as much as it executes your script and records results. I think this is how Jupyter notebooks have been extended to use other languages beside Python. The notebook just takes a script, runs it against a language engine, and records the output from the engine, all the while not really knowing what kind of script is being executed. Similarly, I have not noticed any particular limitations when using Python in Jupyter. Some of the scripts I have run have taken a lot of time to run, used a lot of memory, opened new windows and so on, all without failing. There are known issues running Python scripts that contain a main execution loop and multi-threaded applications. We must open a Python section to our notebook to use Python coding. So start your notebook, then in the upper right menu, select Python 3. This will open a Python window to work in. As mentioned in the previous section, the new window shows an empty cell for you to enter Python code. Let's give the new work area a name. Learning Jupyter section 2. Auto save should be on as you can see next to the title. With an accurate name, we can find this section again easily from the notebook homepage. If you select your browser's Home tab and refresh, you will see this new window name displayed like this. Note it has an item icon versus a folder icon. The automatically assigned extension is IPYNB IPython Notebook, and since the item is in a browser in a Jupyter environment, it is marked as running. There is a file by that name in your directory on disk as well. If you open the IPYNB file in a text editor, you will see the basic contents of a Jupyter node. We have one empty cell and metadata about the notebook. We can now enter Python coding into cells. Type in some Python in the first cell. Add another cell to the end using insert, insert cell below the menu command. In the second cell, we enter Python code that references the variables from the first cell. We have this display. Note that Jupyter color codes your Python just as a decent editor would, and we have empty braces to the left of each code block. If we execute cell, run all cells, the results are displayed in line. We now have the braces filled in with cell numbers, and the output of cells is appended to the bottom of each cell. It's important to note that cell 2 is able to reference variables declared in cell 1. If we either wait for autosave to kick in, or hit the save icon, the leftmost icon of a diskette, we will update the IPYNB file on disk with our results. It's interesting that Jupyter keeps track of the output last generated in the saved version of the file and in save checkpoints. You can also clear the output using the cell all output clear command. If you were then to try to rerun your cells using cell run all, the output would be regenerated and saved via autosave. The cell numbering is incremented. If you do this, Jupyter is keeping track of the latest version of each cell. Similarly, if you were to close the browser tab, refresh the display in the home tab, find the new item we created and click on it, the new tab as created previously will be displayed, showing the outputs that we generated when last run. If you open the server command line window, where the Jupyter service is running, you see a listing of the actions that we have made during our session. The logging entries are at a high level. There may be a way to increase the logging level if there is some difficulty being encountered. Great! We have successfully learned the basic Python in Jupyter.